ओके हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक सो एम बैक आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन रिक्वेस्टिंग मी फॉर एक्सरसाइज फाइव सी ऑफ परम्यूटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन आई हैलरेडी ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड एक्सरसाइज फाइव ए एंड फाइव बी एंड अ लॉट ऑफ कमेंट्स से दैट प्लीज अपलोड फाइव सी ऑल्सो सो लेट्स डू दैट नाउ permutations and combinations is a chapter with uh, high weightage in exam so it is important so it is also important to understand the tips and tricks behind solving the questions so for today's lecture our objective is not to uh, go deep into the concepts but it is to understand the tips and tricks behind solving the questions from exam point of view so i obviously explain concepts wherever required but if you want to see the concepts in detail then i have already uploaded the full uh, revision batch on the channel and full batch also for free so you can go through that as usual before we start the lecture will be video will be in simple english so that everyone should be able to understand and anyway your exam is going to be in english so that is uh, i mean that is something that you have to get used to next is uh, everyone should have tried this by yourself already and then only come to the video then only it will be more useful so be ready with your calculators and let's start the value of 12c4 plus 12c3 is now you can directly calculate this 12c4 then 12c3 and add them or if you know an identity a formula then you'll be able to solve this quickly we have something like ncr plus ncr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr right so n is the same number so 12 right 12 12 that is matching and r and r minus 1 that is 4 and 4 minus 1 3 that is also matching that means we can directly use this so what will it be n plus 1 that is 13 c r r is 4 hmm. okay so 13 c 4 how do we calculate this on calculator easily understand so 13 c 4 is what 13 factorial upon 4 factorial into 13 minus 4 factorial that is 9 factorial so if we expand this it becomes 13 into 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 8 7 6 that is 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 9 factorial so you can cancel this that means you have to calculate this on calculator right so from exam point of view don't uh, do all this okay how to direct Uh, get the answer. If you say 13c4, what you do is start from 13 and take four numbers: so 13, 12, 11, 10. Four numbers, and then divide by four factorial. That is 24. So divide by 24 is 715. Option A should be your answer. Okay. Next, if NPR is 336, NCR is 56, then N and R will be. So obviously, let's go by options, and NCR is easier to calculate. Three and two. So obviously 3c2 is not going to be 56. 3c2 is 3, right? 8c3. Let's calculate. How do we calculate? Start with 8 and take three numbers. So 8, 7, 6, and divided by 3 factorial. That is 6. So that is 56. So that is correct. And let's verify this also. NPR. 8p3. How do we calculate 8p3? 8p3 will be n factorial upon n minus r factorial. So that is just going to be. Eight seven six eight into seven into six three numbers that is it three thirty six so B is the correct answer hmm. next if eighteen C R is equal to eighteen C R plus two then what is value of R C five okay for this you should know the property N C R is equal to N C N minus R okay okay if you know the if you don't know the property by chance solving this question will be Difficult because they have not asked value of r. So n c r is equal to n c n minus r. That means 18 c r is equal to 18 c 18 minus r. But they have given 18 c r is equal to 18 c r plus 2. That means can I say r plus 2 is same as 18 minus r, right? So 18 minus r is equal to r plus 2. So let's rearrange this. 18 minus 2 is 16 will be equal to if I take this r to right hand side, r plus r is 2 r. That means R is eight, so they are asking eight C five. Eight C five is eight C five is also equal to eight C three, right? Because N C R is equal to N C N minus R. 
we have already calculated 8c3 above or you can calculate 876 3 numbers divided by 3 factorial which is 6 so 56 option c okay next next is fourth is a very good question and a very complicated question if you try to solve it mathematically ncr minus 1 is 56 ncr is 28 and ncr plus 1 is 8 then what is r they are asking if you try to form equations and solve this this will become very complicated so don't do that i will tell you i'll show you a simpler trick where you can go by options okay now they have given ncr plus 1 is 8 so let's use this and they are saying r is equal to what suppose r is 8 then can i say ncr plus 1 means nc 8 plus 1 9 is equal to 8 nc 9 is equal to 8 right so let's try some values now n can be 9 10 11 10 something right greater than r it has to be greater than r so obviously 9 c 9 is not going to be 8 that is 1 then 10 c 9 that is not going to be 8 that is 10 right and if you go 11 c 9 12 c 9 13 c 9 that is going to be greater than 10 right so the value will keep on increasing that means this is not the answer because you are not getting 8 if you take 6 that means n c r plus 1 is 7 is equal to 8 this is what we want right so let's try what is 7 c 7 1 so that is not correct what is 8 c 7 that is 8 so this can be our answer right this can be our answer that means maybe n is equal to 8 and r is equal to 6 right what can we do how can we verify this try it out right they have given ncr is equal to 28 let's check ncr that means 8c6 is it 28 how to check that 8c6 is also equal to 8c 8 minus 6 that is 8c2 so 8 and 7 two numbers divided by 2 28 so that is correct you can also verify this ncr minus 1 that is we are saying n is 8 r is 6 so n c r minus 1 8c5 which is same as 8c3 we have already calculated above 8c3 is 56 so this is also fitting that means b is the correct answer okay uh, there have been a lot of calculations there but i hope you have understood if not go back and watch this again and if you still have doubt let uh, let me know in comments okay but this is a very good question which you don't need to solve at all otherwise if you solve this it is not possible to solve this in one minute or even two minutes okay next a person has eight friends the number of ways in which he may invite one or more of them to dinner is okay now there is a property where uh, okay just a second yeah there is a property about uh, selecting one or more objects from n objects so formula for selecting one or more objects from n objects is 2 raised to n minus 1 that is going to be 2 raised to 8 minus 1 what is 2 raised to 8 how to calculate 2 raised to 8 on calculator 2 into and then equal to 7 times so 2 into 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and minus 1 so that is going to be 255 option b hmm. if you don't remember this formula you can also do this they're asking he may invite one or more of them so that means he can invite either one of them which is 8c1 or or is plus two of them 8c2 or 3 8c3 or 8c4 and so on up to 8c8 so this will also give you the same answer 255 next question 6 so let's see what is question 6 the number of ways in which a person can choose one or more of the four electrical appliances so again similar question right one or more of four things pv refrigerator that is not relevant to us so 2 raised to 4 minus 1 2 raised to 4 is 16 16 minus 1 is 15 next seventh if nc10 is equal to nc14 then what is 25 cn okay we can now again use this property ncr is equal to ncn minus r right so that means r here is 10 and n minus r is 14 right so n minus r is 14 but r is 10 that means can i say n minus 10 is 14 that means n is what 14 plus 10 that is 24 
so if n is 24 they are asking 25 c 24 25 c 24 is 25 okay if you don't remember what is i mean if you cannot immediately identify that this is 25 what can you do is 25 c 24 is same as 25 c what 25 minus 24 that is 1 so on calculator what will you do 25 only one number divided by one factorial that is 1 so 25 b is the correct answer okay so next is question 8 out of seven gents and four ladies a committee of five is to be formed the number of committees such that each committee includes at least one lady is okay now let's solve this on a different page because it will be otherwise very complicated so we have seven gents and four ladies and we have to select five people out of them right they are asking that each committee should include at least one lady so one way to solve this is at least one lady means what you can have one lady and four gents or r is plus two ladies and and is into three gents or three ladies and two uh, two gents or four ladies and one gentleman you cannot have five ladies because there are four ladies in total right so you can calculate all this and add it together or there is a shortcut whenever in chapters of probability theoretical distributions sets p and c wherever you see at least one at least one means what if you take total number of ways and subtract the ways where there are no ladies in the group then you should get the ways where there are at least one right so whenever you see the question which says at least one it always can be solved as all minus none always remember that so always means always not all ladies always without any restriction always without any restriction means what how many people are there in total 7 plus 4 11 right so how many ways are there without any restriction 11 c 5 minus ways such that there is no lady no lady means all gents all seven gents so you can select five gents out of seven let's calculate this 11 c 5 how to calculate 11 c 5 11 and then five numbers right so 11 10 9 8 7 divided by 5 factor is 120 so you get 462 minus 7c5 is same as 7c2 because 7c 7 minus 5 so 7c2 will be 7 into 6 divided by 2 which is 21 so 462 minus 21 is 441 will be the correct answer option c okay next question 9 if 28c2 r is to 24c2 r minus 4 is equal to 225 is to 11 then what is value of r okay so obviously we are not going to solve this because that will be unnecessarily complicated so we'll just put the options right? let's put the options and solve that is the easiest way let's put 7 28c 2r means what 28c 14 is to 24 c 2r minus 4 that is 14 minus 4 that is 10 they are saying this is equal to 225 is to 11 okay fine now one problem is you cannot solve this on calculator directly because this will be a very big number to 28c14 right so instead we can just simplify it we want 28c14 divided by what 24c10 sorry right so let's write in terms of factorial 28c14 is what 28 factorial upon 28 minus 14 that is 14 factorial into 14 factorial divided by so let's write it into and do reciprocal of the second term so 24 factorial divided by 10 factorial into 24 minus 10 that is 14 factorial so we can just cancel this we can write 28 factorial as 28 27 26 25 and then 24 factorial divided by we can write 14 factorial as 14 13 12 11 and 10 factorial right so into 10 factorial by 24 factorial so we can cancel this directly so that is the only remaining part you can directly solve it on calculator 28 into 27 into 26 into 25 divided by 14 divided by 13 divided by 12 divided by 11 that is 
20.45 recurring okay let's check this 225 by 11 that is also 20.45 recurring so it is same so a is the correct answer okay if it was b c or d it would have taken time okay but luckily it was a so you can solve this also if you want but that will i feel that will take even more time so don't do that 10th the number of diagonals in a decagon is now they have already given formula number of diagonals in a polygon of n sides is 1 by 2 into n into n minus 3 okay decagon means a figure with 10 sides decimal is used for number system with 10 numbers right so a decade is 10 years a decile is 10 percent right so decagon is a figure with 10 sides so we can just use the formula half into 10 into 10 minus 3 7 so that will be 35 option b okay next 11 there are 12 points in a plane of which 5 are collinear. The number of triangles is okay. Plane means what? Geometrical plane, right? 5 are collinear. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there are 7 remaining points. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many triangles can be formed? So always write it like this. There are 5 collinear, 7 non-collinear points. For a triangle, you need 3 points. How can you select three points? Can I say you can select three non-collinear points? That means 7C3 and 5C0, right? No collinear point. Or, or, what you can do is, you can select two non-collinear points and one of these five points. That means what can you do? You can select 5C1. Sorry. You can select 5C1 and you can select 7C3. Or there is one more way you can select one non collinear point and two collinear points. So, again, a triangle that means you can select 5c2 and 7c1, right? This should be 7c2, not 3. Okay, so that's it. You, there is no other way you cannot select three collinear points. So, let's calculate this 5c0 is 1, 7c3 is 765 divided by 6, so that is 35. 5c1 is 5. 7c2 is 7 into 6 by 2 that is 21. 5c2 is what? 5 into 4 by 2 that is 10. 7c1 is 7. So you can do in calculator now. 35 m plus 5 into 21 m plus 10 into 7 m plus. If you press MRC you get 210. So option C is the correct answer. Next 13th. At an election there are uh, 14 candidates, oh, just give me a second. Yeah, I ticked it for the wrong question, I guess. 210 was answer for 11th question, right? Fine. So 12th is a different question. Let's solve that. Number of straight lines obtained by joining 16 points on a plane. No three of them being on the same line. So this is easy. There are 16 points. For straight line, you need two points, right? So 16, C2, that's it. How do you calculate 16 into 15 divided by 2? So 120A is the correct answer. Next 13th. At an election, there are five candidates and three members are to be elected. A voter is entitled to vote for any number of candidates not greater than the number to be elected. So you can vote for any number of candidates. That is, you can vote for one, two or three candidates because not greater than number to be elected. Now, ideally, you can vote for zero candidates also, but we will not consider that because they are saying any number of candidates, right? The number of ways a voter can choose to vote is. So, again, you can select either one person to vote or you can select two persons or you can select three persons. So, 5C1 plus 5C2 plus 5C3. 5C1 is 5 plus 5C2 is 10 plus 5C3 is also 10. So, that is 25. Okay. If we include zero candidates also, then the answer will be 26 because we'll add 5c0 also, right? But it seems like they have not, they, are, they don't want to say that any number of candidates they are saying. Every person shakes hands with each other in a party and total number of handshakes is 66. For a handshake, just like a straight line in question 12, you need two people. So, out of total people, you need to select two people and total number of handshakes is 66. 
then what is total number of guests they are saying that means nc2 out of total if you select 2 then there are 66 ways of doing this right so you can just go by option 11 into 10 by 2 that is not 66 so not correct 12 into 11 by 2 that is 66 so option b is the correct answer next the number of parallelograms that can be formed from a set of four parallel lines intersecting another set of three parallel lines okay so you have four parallel lines which do not intersect each other and another set of three parallel lines another set so maybe like this one two three so a parallelogram is what a quadrilateral a figure with four sides where opposite sides are parallel to each other so that means you will need two lines like this horizontal and two lines like this vertical that means out of four horizontal lines out of four horizontal lines you have to select two lines and out of three vertical lines you have to select two lines so 4c2 into 3c2 4c2 is what 4 into 3 by 2 6 into 3 6 into 3 is 18 option b is the correct answer okay number of ways in which 12 students can be equally divided into three groups is now this is a good question okay 12 students So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll need groups of 4, 4 people, right? So how to do that? Think uh, as you would select them. So what we'll do? There are 12 students. First, we'll select 4 students for first group. So we'll do 12, C4. And then we'll select 4 students for the next group. Now there are only 8 students remaining, right? So 8, C4. And now there are only 4 students remaining, so 4, C4. What is this? 12C4 is 12, 11, 10, 9 divided by 24. That is 495 into this is 1, 8765 divided by 24. That is 70. So 495 into 70, 34650. But this is not the answer. Why? Because understand, let's say there are 12 people and ABCD is selected into this group and let's say WXYZ is selected into this group. And let's say PQRS. Now, in this 34650 combination, there will be another combination which will be like this. See, PQRS, ABCD, WXYZ. Tell me, although the groups are rearranged, is it different? No, it is not different because we, we are not looking at permutations here. We don't want what if, what if first group is instead of second group and second group uh, is placed instead of first group. We don't want that. We are not looking at permutations. We are just looking at combinations. So even if we get something like this or something like this, it is same. So understand, uh, there are three factorial ways of arranging these three groups among each other. There are three factorial ways of arranging these three groups among each other. So what we'll do is we'll divide this by three factorial because we don't want those ways. Now there can be six ways of rearranging this but we only want one way. So we want six divided by six one. So total divided by six that is five seven seven five will be the final answer. If this feels complicated let me know. I have explained this in detail in uh, the regular batch and the revision batch also. So let me know in comments, I'll share the link of that. Next 17th, last few questions. Number of ways in which 15 mangoes can be equally divided among three students is, okay. Now, this is a similar question, right? But there is one difference in this. Let's see what that is. So we have 15 mangoes which can be divided equally among three students. So if I do the same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we can apply the same logic, 15 C5. And then 10 mangoes are remaining, so 10 C5. Then 5 mangoes are remaining, so 5 C5. Okay. So what will happen? Let's calculate this. This will be 15 C5 is what? Now, the, they have not given the answer in terms of number, right? So we can also calculate like this if we want. So... What we can do is we can write this as 15 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 10 factorial into 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 5c5 is 1, right? 
so if i cancel this we will get 15 factorial divided by 5 factorial cube now in previous question we divided this by 3 factorial why because there are three groups there were three groups but now these are not groups these are students student 1 2 and 3 students right yes now understand something group 1 group 2 and group 3 does not have separate identity group 1 and group 2 even if we call it as group 2 and group 1 even if we switch their names it does not matter because they don't have identity of their own but student 1 student 2 and student 3 they have identities of their own we cannot interchange them we cannot say that these mangoes are given to student 1 and these are given to student 2 that is the same thing we cannot say that because student 1 has separate identity student 2 has separate identity student 3 has separate identity so we will not divide this by 6 uh, 3 factorial which is 6 and this will be our final answer 15 factorial divided by 5 factorial cube which is option b again this is a very good question and different question i don't know why i did not take this but i hope you have understood this if not let me know in comments let me know if you have not understood this it's a very good concept 16 and 17 okay and a different concept okay last five questions they are relatively simple now eight points are marked on the circumference of a circle number of chords obtained by joining these in pairs chord is what joining two points on the circumference so simple 8c2 8c2 is what 8 into 7 by 2 28c a committee of three ladies and four gents is to be formed out of eight ladies and seven gents mrs x refuses to serve in a committee in which mr y is a member the number of such committees is now let's see how many total ladies and gents are there eight ladies sorry sorry there are eight ladies and seven gents and we have to select three ladies and four gents and they are saying mrs x so x is a lady which cannot be with mr y so okay so now understand if we select x here we cannot select y here if we select y here we cannot select x here or what we can do is will not select x also will not select y also but both x and y this is not possible they are saying you cannot select both x and y so we can do one thing we can calculate these three combinations and add them or we can do total that is total of all these total minus this combination last one right so they are saying x and y cannot be together so we'll do opposite of that we'll do total minus x and y are together right so what is total total is without any restriction so out of it we have to select 3 so 8c3 and 7c4 this restriction is there 3 and 4 right so we have to uh, that is the uh, part of universal set of the problem right minus x and y are together that means x is selected y is also selected now x is selected that means out of these eight one is also already selected so we have to select out of seven we just have to select two that's it right so seven c2 and y is also already selected that means what out of six we have to select three so six c3 so let's calculate that 8 c3 8 7 6 by 6 56 into 7 6 5 sorry 7 6 5 4 by 8. 35 minus 21 into 20 so that is 56 into 35 1960 minus 420 so that is going to be 1540 so option D okay or you can calculate those three combinations and add them that is also okay hmm. fine for question 20 we have to use the property which we used in question 1 right what is question 20 let's see tell me does this look similar to NCR 
प्लस एन सी आर माइनस वन राइट एन एस फोर नाइनटी नाइन सी आर नाइनटी टू एंड आर माइनस वन इज नाइनटी वन एंड दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू एन प्लस वन सी आर एन प्लस वन इज फाइव हंड्रेड सी नाइनटी टू दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट दैट मीन्स द ओनली मिसिंग पीस इज दिस एन सो दैट हैज टू बी फोर नाइनटी नाइन ऑप्शन डी राइट बट वॉज जस्ट अ मिसिंग फिगर क्वेश्चन Why is this not going? I don't know. Huh? Fine. Last two. The Supreme Court has given a six-to-three decision upholding a lower court. Upholding means they have maintained the same decision which was there in the lower court. The number of ways it can give a majority decision reversing the lower court. Reversing that means they are, they will reverse the decision. Okay. Majority decision means what? More than fifty percent. How many total judges are there? Six plus three nine. So more than fifty percent means uh, what do you want? Out of nine, at least more than fifty percent means at least five have to reverse the decision, right? C five or six or seven or eight or nine, right? At least five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine people should reverse the decision. So let's calculate that nine C five. 126. You can just do M plus. Okay. Sorry, uh, I made some mistake. Guys, nine, eight, seven, six, five divided by 120. Correct. 126 M plus. Then 9 C6. 9 C6 is also same as 9 C3, right? So 9 into 8 into 7 divided by 6 M plus. 9 C7 is same as 9 C2. 9 C8 is same as 9 C1. That is 9. 9 C9 is 1. So if you press MRC, total is 256. Option A. Okay. Last five bulbs of which three are defective. Okay, so three are defective, two are non-defective. Five bulbs are to be tried in two bulb points in a dark room. So we have to select two bulbs. Number of trials the room shall be lighted is. Okay, the room shall be lighted. When will there be light? If there is at least one non-defective bulb, right? That means we can have one defective and one non-defective, or we can have zero defectives and both non-defectives, right? So that is three into two plus one. So seven will be the answer, option D for question twenty-two. Okay. I hope this was clear to everyone. Let me know if you have any doubts in this. So this was exercise 5C. So I hope this will be useful to you. Understand the tips and tricks. Don't just understand. Try to apply them by yourself the next time you solve it. And if you have any doubts, let me know in comments. Also, there is a Telegram channel. The link is given in description where I post MCQs daily. So if you scroll up on that, you will see around six, seven hundred MCQs, which will be good for your exam practice. Okay. So. Okay then let's stop for today bye everyone